In this video, we will examine part two of installing MongoDB on a Mac. We will cover creating the mongod.conf file, starting MongoD itself, and then testing. We will also review the entire procedure from beginning to end. Finding an example of the mongod.conf file is a very useful thing. You can find this at github.com by typing in the URL that you see on the screen. Most of the directives are commented out and are also not necessary for our purposes. What we can do is to copy the appropriate commands, in this case all the way down to dbpath. We can then open up the text editor. To do that, we go to Finder. From there, we say Go, Applications. We then select Text Edit. Before we can begin, it's very important to make sure that the format is plain text. So we select Make Plain Text. We can now paste in the contents. We then make changes to suit our environment. So we modify the log path to point to the newly created MongoDB folder. The name of the log file will be mongod.log. This can be consulted later on if there are problems when running MongoDB. We specify log append equals true so that future entries are added to the log file rather than overwriting the log file. Next, and most importantly, we need to specify the folder in which we will be writing the MongoDB data. In this case, the folder is off of the home folder under data slash DB. We are now in a position to save the file. We select File Save. We then need to specify the MongoDB folder. So you can type in the path, give it the name of the file, which is mongod.conf, allow it to remain as UTF-8, do not include the TXT extension, and save. We can now close the text editor and have a look at the new file. As you can see, there's no extra formatting, which is extremely important in this situation. We are now ready to start MongoD using the new configuration file. So we type in mongod space minus f space and then the path to the configuration file. We now hit enter and we now have an instance of MongoDB running on this particular computer. In order to test the installation, we need to open up another terminal window. We go to shell, specify new window, basic. We can now type in mongo which gives us access to the MongoDB shell. We can select the built-in database. We type in use mydb. We can now save a test document. In this example, we type in db.test.save, open parentheses, open curly brace, a colon one, close curly brace, close parentheses. This will save a document with a field a, which has a value of one in the test collection. We can now retrieve the document to verify that MongoDB is operating properly. We type in db.test.find. The return value then has the default underscore ID field, which is a MongoDB object ID, followed by the field A with a value of 1. We have now confirmed that the MongoDB installation is running correctly. You can then exit the MongoDB shell by simply typing in exit. So in review, to install MongoDB on a Mac, download from mongodb.org slash downloads. Extract to a folder. You open up a terminal app and type in tar space xvfz space downloads slash and the name of the downloaded file. You can then rename the folder. You type in mv followed by the name of the download followed by space mongodb. You then need to create the data folder. First you make the data folder followed by data slash db. You can then put the binaries in the path. The easiest way to do this from a terminal window is typing in echo quote export space path equals dollar path colon and then the path to the MongoDB folder just created and the quotes greater than sign dot bash underscore profile. Remember that path is uppercase. You then need to exit the terminal app and reopen the terminal app in order for the path to become effective. You then need to create the mongod.configuration file. You can find a sample configuration file on GitHub, open up text edit, 
Make sure that the format is Make Plain Text. Change the Log Path and DB Path directives to the appropriate folders on your Macintosh. Then save to the MongoDB folder under the file name mongod.conf. You then start MongoD. The way to start it is issue the command mongod space minus f space and then the path to the MongoDB folder slash mongod.conf. This starts MongoDB using the configuration just created. You then test by issuing the command mongo use mydb db.test.save give it a sample document field A, value 1, surrounded by curly braces. You then retrieve the information by typing in db.test.find.